Welcome back to this madness, which is me trying to build a guitar from scratch for the great guitar build of unofficial entries with very limited tools, materials and space. The goal is the same, build the whole thing from scratch and when I say whole thing I mean it. Build everything apart from the strings and the frets. Now in this episode, we're gonna take a look at the plan of action and we're gonna start working on the neck and on the truss rod channel. We are not in a workshop, but we are in my room, which is your normal standard student accommodation room. As the project is a little bit unconventional, it's really, really, really important that everything is very carefully planned in advance. So most guitars are built similarly, mostly because of tradition. Um, they're built with a certain tool set in mind and it probably is the best way of doing it with those materials and those tools. But in my case, not having a proper workshop and not having proper tools means that I need to find alternative ways of doing it. Building with the classical materials and in the classical way would have been very difficult in my case as uh, this is a process made for a certain set of tools. Snapping out of the norm, buying unconventional materials and building all the parts myself actually offers me a whole lot more freedom. It is way better than trying to build a guitar in a traditional way with my limited tools. And I will show you what I mean by that, because I actually sketched my idea in CAD. This is a rough shape of the guitar. Uh, it is a neck through design and a headless design. What this allows me to do is not stick to the traditional tuners you usually have on the guitars. And that means I can make my own tuners so much easier. Now, um, let's take a closer look at the neck and the truss rod, which is the most interesting bit now. Now, if I were to get one solid piece of wood, I would have had to route this truss rod channel myself, which is very difficult because I don't have a router. If I get two smaller pieces of wood, these are actually balusters, two oak balusters that I got from b &Q for around 12 pounds each. So if I get two smaller pieces of wood and chisel out this channel, this half channel in each of them, then I end up with the with a truss rod channel after gluing them up with much less effort than I would if I had to actually route it by hand with a hand router or something like that, or with a chisel. And the same goes with the sides of the body. If I go with the neck through design, then I can chisel out this pickup cavity much easier than if I glued everything up and then try to route it out. But if I have the neck through first and then glue the body sides, then I end up with this nice rough guitar shape with a truss rod channel and pickup cavities already in place. Now planning things this way allows me to see what the next important steps are. In this case, the top priority is to get the neck glued together. This means that before gluing, I need two perfectly flat faces and I will try to get them flat with a hand plane. Then I need to chisel out the half channels for the truss rod. Now I bought the absolute cheapest chisels I could find in the shop. So before attempting anything with them in oak, I need to give them a proper sharp edge, which is gonna be the first actual piece of work from this build.
I sharpened my chisels and off camera I also sharpened my uh, plane blade. I've tried to use the plane on a piece of pine which worked very nicely. However, it doesn't work on oak. It's probably my lack of experience which just doesn't work. What I have to do now is get these faces sort of flat so they can glue up together nicely. I'm gonna try and do that with some sandpaper. I'm gonna put some pencil marks on and I'm gonna keep checking it to be square and to fit nicely to the other piece of oak. I clamped the wood on the table using a couple of clamps here on the back and some wedges in the front uh, using these slots that are already in the table. So the rain has just started, I think. I'm gonna go inside and try and do it over there somehow. Okay, we're back in what seems like a beautiful day now. Yesterday I tried planing these oak beams flat. Now, it started raining so I had to go back inside and I had to try and sand it down because planing didn't really work. I tried sanding them down and then that kind of didn't work. So then I ended up using the plane blade as a scraper to make the two halves join together. Now, today, hopefully it's not gonna start raining again. I'm gonna try and carve out the half channels for the truss rod. So we're gonna start doing that now. We're gonna clamp these onto the table, get a chisel, try to chisel it out. Okay, so it's not going that badly. It's, it's going quite quickly. I figured out how I'm doing it and it's not difficult at all. Um, I'm gonna show you, so I'm just finishing the first one now. I'm gonna show you how, how I'm doing it for the last bit of it. So I'm just, um, taking away large bits of uh, wood with the chisel. Now, I don't know if this is proper technique or not. I'm not a woodworker by any means, but this seems to work taking large bits of material and then going and sneaking up to the line, trying to make it as neat as possible. I 
and now once the but the bulk of the material is gone I'm just cleaning it up bringing it up to the line trying to make it look nice finished one of them so this means I have half of a truss rod channel chiseled out I'm gonna start working on the second one and hopefully be ready for glue up very soon so I just finished gluing up I think I might have lost some audio from the gluing up process video however we'll make it work somehow I will unclamp the neck tomorrow see how it looks like hopefully everything will be fine and We'll take it from there. So this is all for this episode. If you want to follow along, please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.